Good morning, YouTubers. How is everybody out there today? And YouTube land, I hope you're doing pretty good. Well, you know, this is kind of a follow-up video. Uh, yesterday, I put brand new upper ball joints on my 2000 Expedition. I'll give you a look at them here real quick. Stick the camera in there and uh, check it out. Oh, yeah. Oops, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Look at that. Brand new ball joints, driver's side. You can see them there, nice and shiny. And on the passenger side, it was about a two hour job yesterday, not a big deal. Saved myself $400. And here's the other one. New grease fittings, greased up, and she's ready for winter. I've got upper new ball joints and lower ball joints on it. Uh, so the uppers and lowers have been replaced on this. I did them both. Well, I should say I did all four of them, two on the top and two on the bottom. And i uh, got to tell you what a difference. Um, what I'm doing now is basically uh, checking the alignment on it. I have a, a video on here how to do this. You take a string, and I'll just walk you through it real quick. This will not be an in-depth uh, in depth, uh, on how to do it. But uh, basically, if you get a couple car jacks, get your ball twine, wrap it around the tire, kind of go around the back, kind of get it pretty even with the tire there and come around this side and back around this side and you can see I got pretty much even with the center cap <clears throat> and uh, back around to the front tire and to the jack. Now I checked the alignment this tire on this side was a little little off it was in too far so what I had to do is get into there and crack the, uh, the bolts on the uh, tie rod ends and turn it so it would come out this way and it's pretty even with the string and I'm going to take my tape measure here try to do this with my camera in one hand and the tape measure in the other and make this one continuous uh, pretty quick video <clears throat> now what you want to do uh, is get the uh, string around the back tires try to get it pretty close we're just barely touching the tire and if you want take your tape measure and kind of measure it there. You can see I got about an inch and maybe a sixteenth. And it looks like about an inch and sixteenth on this side. And we'll go back around. This is the old school way of doing it. They don't teach you this stuff anymore. Although you can still take it to the alignment shop and have it professionally aligned. But if you're doing this on a Saturday and you can't get to an alignment shop for a few days, this is one quick dirty way to get it back in alignment until you can take it to the shop and have it professionally done. But I'll tell you something, 90% of the time, this works pretty good for me, I've never had any issues. So if you have a Mercedes Benz, you might want to take it to the uh, alignment shop. <laughs> Just saying. And on this side, looks like about an inch, and about an inch. Now the whole idea is, just kind of make sure the strings is barely touching those back tires there, like I said on that side. And what we do is go to, we go to the front, and the way you find out, if your wheel is in a pretty decent alignment, go inside. Now I've got my key off. Make sure your wheel is fairly straight where you want it to be, where it should be. Mine's pretty straight. <clears throat> and as this string is going along, just have it barely touching the tire, just like the back. And take a tape measure and go right off the rim and measure it like that. And you can see I've got about an inch and about an inch and a quarter there and on the front about an inch and a quarter so this side is pretty well aligned I'm happy with it and we'll go on this side and we'll do the same thing uh, we'll just kind of measure it off the rim looks like about an inch and a little over a quarter there and an inch a little over a quarter there now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about getting it right to the 16th. As long as you're within an eighth of an inch, you're in pretty good shape. Um, the reason is, sometimes if you have different brand tires, some tires are a little wider than others. That's why you don't measure it off the tire. You measure it off your rim because more than likely you're going to have four exactly the same rims and your measurements will come out better if you, uh, if you can follow that. So, um, I had to adjust this tire and I had to bring this out here a little bit earlier it was in about an inch uh, it was in quite a ways but now like I said the measurements are in pretty good shape they're about the same 
<clears throat> and you can actually look down that string line and you can see that tire looks pretty straight to me and same thing on this side you see that string here is right where I want it now if you can get under your vehicle and crack these tire uh, outer tie rod ends bolts every vehicle is a little set up a little different I'll just kind of show you real quick on mine I just had to loosen these guys here up and I had the center support if I turn it one way, it'll bring the tire out. If I turn it the other way, clockwise, you know, it'll bring it in. It depends on your vehicle. And this is basically how you get your tire to move in and move out and get that string uh, pretty daggone close to the outside of that tire. So uh, all I have to do now is tighten this up. And you can see how far it was out. Um, that nut, I just barely broke it loose. And this tie rod in actually got pushed out to bring the front of this tire outward so all i have to do now is tighten this up and uh i should be good to go let me crawl up out of under here so uh if you want to know how to actually do this i have a video on my uh website here on my youtube channel and there are other videos online people have done that you can do this several different ways but this is how i usually do it Everybody has two jacks and everybody can buy a ball of twine probably for a dollar At the uh, fabric store or whatever, but it works out pretty good So like I said the key here is to make sure you get your string pretty close to the tires all the way around And like I said don't worry so much about the back tires as long as the two tires uh, the two back tires uh, the rims and between the rim and the string measures, you know pretty much where like on this side it's an inch on this side about an inch and on this side yeah about an inch and on this side just about an inch so that's the whole idea these are your guides back here that you when you run the string up this is where you can make your adjustments and kind of get it kind of close. So uh, I figured I'd make a quick video for you guys today and uh, show you how I do it. Uh, but I'm happy. I got upper and lower ball joints on it. And I tell you what, what a difference. No more noise. It doesn't pull to the right anymore, especially when I kind of drive off the edge of the road or hit an uneven spot. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it and it looks like I'm going to have a pretty decent winter driver as uh, I'm hoping the winter is not going to be too bad, but I don't know. I love this four-wheel drive. It's only got a 4.6 in it and it gets about 20 miles a gallon. If I don't push it hard, I can get it to go to 22. So, uh, yeah. So there you go, guys. So I've, I just figured I'd make a little update here and show you guys if you want to do an alignment after you do your upper and lower ball joints. Uh, this is one way you can do it. So thanks for watching. And uh, after uh, today, I guess my video from the ball joint uh, that I put in here, the upper ball joints, the video I did, We'll probably be up later today, but after that, I'll probably going to take a week or two off from YouTube, take a little vacation, and maybe head back here in a couple of weeks and start doing some more projects and give you guys more updates. So thanks for watching. Until then, have a good day, everybody, and be safe, and I'll see you then.